What are we doing, Gordon? We're unfolding this sail to see what we got. <coughs> this is a sail we got off Macy's. Someone put it by the dumpster up at the marina. And I don't necessarily need a sail. You can see it's torn. But the material I can repurpose as sunshade for the boat. So let's see what we got here. We've got two 14 foot by 6 foot pieces of sail cut out. I'm using this edge of the sail as one of the edges because it's already reinforced. The other edges, you can see I stitched a line down them. And then I'm going to put a cord in them, just like the original sail. Fold it over and stitch it. And that way when I put the grommets in and straps, they'll be in a reinforced edge. And that should last the life of the sail material and not tear. And you can see here I'm using double-sided tape to hold my bolt rope in place and my fold secure so I can get a good straight strong stitch line. Now I'm stitching the bolt rope in to the edge so when I put the grommets and straps in the bolt rope will still be there to give the side of this strength. They make a special foot for doing stuff like this. I don't have it. I've just got my needle set all the way to the right and I'll run down along the edge of it. It's good enough for what I'm doing. Shade tar. What are we doing, Gordon? Um, these are called grommets. Stainless steel. Yeah. Never going to rust. I'm trying to get the right size. Yep, we're putting grommets, stainless steel, every two feet. This might be good for that one. Yeah. yeah. To hang the shade tarp from. There's one. That's good enough. She'll pound down. Well, this one here. Yeah. yeah, that's a little better fit. There's a mixed bag of sizes in there. And you can see we've got the rope sewn into the corner here. We've got a blind edge here so it don't fray and the grommet right in the middle. So that should never tear out. Now we're sewing the buckles on and we're just using three bar tacks. Uh, we're not gonna box X this. I don't feel like twisting and turning this whole freaking sail around for each one. But when we get the clips on, when we put the tarp in place, you just, snap the opposing side pull the adjustment and it's done so it's going to work well up on the mast and the boom and the shade tarps made from old sail material are up beautiful design engineering masterpiece you can see where we use straps and buckles to go underneath the sail bag so the tarp is in two pieces we don't have to pull the lazy jacks or anything down the buckles just snap into place and then the buckles just snap onto the lifelines very simple to put up very effective look at that shade the deck is almost too hot to walk on from the sun but couple hours of shade and this boat's going to cool off magnificently and this is our shade system for anchor now we just got to make the new one for the uh, wind scoop out of sail material and we'll keep you updated on that and this is the shade tarps from the bow you can see it runs the entire length of the boom strapped off to the handrails now we'll put two more we're going to run one from the mast to our spinnaker pole, which we store like that, to cover this section of the deck for shade. That'll be two six or seven foot squares. We'll cover this area, and then our wind scoop will shade the bow and keep rain from getting in the front hatch and help force air in. So those are the next two projects. Stay tuned, we'll give you an update.